Hi, my name is Sebastian Campos. I'm the program manager from Techstars for the Metro Accelerator for retail powered by Techstars. The Metro Accelerator for Retail Powered by Techstars is an accelerator program that focuses on helping companies that have digital technologies bring in into the offline market. The selection process to become a, a startup that goes through a Techstars program really starts with you having a startup and having certain elements. So for example, you should have something that we call MVP that is called Minimal Viable Product. So something that is already a product, not just an idea. What happens once the companies get accepted into the program is that um, we help them move to Berlin. Right now we are in a building from the 1960s that used to be part of the Soviet government uh, in Germany. And once the, the companies come in here, what basically happens is that first they meet um, mentors, right? So we have, it's three months program. And the first month they basically are focused on mentor madness, which is when they meet up to 100 mentors in two weeks, and then they, and the startups take the feedback that the mentors give them. They have talks one-on-one, -on -one, sort of like Tinder for mentors. They just simply talk about the business model, they talk about their business, and they also talk about how to best um, become a bigger company. And that is month one. Month two is really about executing. So once they talked with the mentors about their business, what the startups can do is really take that feedback and try to build on it. So they also, that means, for example, going out into the real world and, and trying it with real customers and trying the changes that they want to implement. So this is like a little bit like experimenting. And afterwards, the end of the third month, and um, what they're doing right now is really practicing how to pitch in front of a large audience that is called the Demo Day. And they also learn a lot about fundraising strategies. One very hot topic right now, and um, this obviously makes us very happy as a retail accelerator, is retail. So what is going on in retail? People are saying retail is changing. Um, in reality, retail changes all the time, like any industry and any business. Before, let's say 10 years ago, it was about um, retailers that are very cheap and that moved into, into different places and in industries, right? Okay. So now, what, one of the big challenges that we have is more on the digital side, right? That is the main challenge that everyone's telling, that you have digital, that you have retailers that are stores that you go like a supermarket you go there and you buy everything that you need and on the other hand you have websites where you can get most of uh, the things that you're also looking for and they get delivered to you so this is a big challenge um, and if you see what's happening right now at the market i think it's super interesting because you have right now you have digital trying to go offline so you know these websites trying to also buy supermarkets and have a physical store. And on the other hand, you have stores trying to go digital. So this is a super interesting moment. Um, we are trying to help companies that are working exactly on these problems and to help them bring, for example, one of the companies that is here that is working with us, that's called Sensei, for Portugal, by the way. What they're trying to do is they're trying to save the, the shopper experience offline. So they're trying to bring digital technologies to a store to make sure that they get the same amount of data that, for example, a website can get. And in doing so, they're helping, um, helping really compete with uh, digital technologies. We are looking for great innovative solutions for retail. In there, what we look for are great teams and great ideas. It's, it's all about the team. We have seen hundreds of hundreds of applications. Companies are sometimes doing same things. It's sometimes about the uniqueness, but at a point when you have to decide and you, you see two good ideas, um, we always will decide about the team. They're much more important than, do they already have hundreds of customers? Do they have already uh, big revenue? So for us, it's all about the people.
Mio is an autonomous robot for product delivery and distribution in public spaces. The idea to create Mio was initially to connect people with physical things. Because when we take our smartphones, for example, and within seconds we can reach any kind of piece of information. However, with physical things, it's completely different. Mir is going to change the world. Whenever you need your charger, it's here. Whenever you need a bottle of water, it's there. With Captain Cook, you will find every day three delicious recipes. And every recipe comes with a really nice step-by-step -step instruction, so you don't have to be a really master chef in order to uh, cook our recipes. It's, it's really, really simple. And also for every recipe, you get product-based shopping list for the retailers around you. So actually you can, can see comparable prices between organic stores and also hypermarkets, and then decide where you want to go to shop. And um, so since customers look online for recipes or let's say people might not learn so much more from the family or from from mother or father how to cook and there um, Captain Cook comes in where we really give this online inspiration connected to the offline shopping some yogurt, some special kind of yogurt and I saw this store called yoga As whole surplus, our ambition is to help food businesses save money out of food waste and do not let anyone to go bad hungry in the night in the regions we operate. We are tackling food waste problem. Globally, one third of food produced for human consumption ends up as being waste. This is a huge problem, not only in environmental and social aspects, but also with financial burdens to food businesses and retailers. We are connecting food businesses and retailers with the charities and also the other buyer sites for the surplus recycle and the other parts as well. But more than that, we are also providing real-time data analytics for food businesses to have a unique understanding on their waste details. Sensei was created to preserve something special, the store shopping experience. Because something that brings so many people every day to their stores, it's because it became a fundamental part of their lives. What we do is that we turn any surveillance camera or any camera whatsoever into a powerful sensor. Our mission is to teach computers how to actually see the world, to understand it and extract knowledge from it. And actually cameras are the perfect enabler for this kind of thing because a camera sees a, a, way beyond the presence of an object, is able to understand what is the object, yeah, the dimension of the object, the, the colors, the position. So there's a lot of information that you can take from a concept of a sensor as a camera. Now with Sensei, for the first time, you can really understand what your customers want. Before they buy, they are telling you every day little stories about what are their preferences, what are the products they are looking for, and this is the kind of knowledge that Sensei can give you. We at Textos, we have a we have a motto that's called "Do more faster." Um, I would add up something on that and say, "Do more faster, better, more efficient." I did run a company when I was super young and I didn't have acceleration. I had things that I had to learn by myself because I was alone. It took me much longer than three months to find things out that I would have needed in, in within these three months. <laughs> 